From the outside, this building still looks like a rundown old church, but in fact, it's just had £30,000 spent on it. It was just a really you know, outdated facility before, so it's just you know, it's amazing what a lick of paint can, can do to you know, revitalise a building. So it's just bright and airy. Uh, we've carpeted two of the rooms, two of the office spaces now. So it's, it's a bit more welcoming. The church lay derelict and unused for three years, but now it's been given a full makeover and it's up to the community to decide how they want to use it. I think it's really good to see this uh, place, which has been very important for the local community, just getting opened up again and used again. So I'm hoping that people will get to know about it and start using it. I'd like to see some children's activities, some, some youth work, some health promotion stuff, some... Uh, some church stuff as well, you know, to get a bit of continuity. And just things that actually people benefit from. Corbridge is an area of Stoke-on-Trent just north of Hanley. This is the first project of its kind here and it's hoped it will make a real difference to the community. It'd be a big boost for the community because they haven't really got much around here. I mean, I know the place quite well. I've got friends that live around here and they haven't got much to do around here. They're just either getting in trouble all the time with the police or... Just being antisocial basically and I think if they have a youth club around here it will bring the community together more because it's somewhere where they can come in, they can relax, they can have a game of pool with the mates and it will be a really opening, it will open the door for Cobridge. So hopefully Booth and Methodist can now attract the same crowds it used to all those years ago. Michelle Kendall, Staffs Live.